stopgap measure. Here at home tonight, the Community Food Bank of Southern Arizona is preparing for the potential of a government shutdown. If a shutdown does happen, the food bank could see an increase in demand, and that would put a strain on their resources. 13 News reporter Ashley Bowerman joins us live in studio with more. And Ashley, if this happens, it would mean that the food bank would have to worry about having enough supplies for more people. And that's exactly right. If a government shutdown happens, the food bank tells me they would not only be helping an already increased number of people who are food insecure in southern Arizona, but they'd also be having to help those federal workers who aren't getting paid and ultimately not able to afford their groceries. If the shutdown were to last into November, people who rely on federal food assistance programs like SNAP and WIC would also look to them for help. The Community Food Bank of Southern Arizona is making sure they are stocked with enough shelf-stable food to get through a month of emergency food distribution in the event of a government shutdown. CEO Malia Chavez says they are working with local, state, and federal partners to make sure they have enough for everyone. We have such generous and amazing um, donors here in Southern Arizona and throughout the country, actually, that support us. Um, and we're working very closely with Feeding America, too, on the national level to make sure that we do have those shelf-stable items and that we are able to respond in the event of an emergency. Leaders for the SNAP and WIC benefit programs tell us that those who rely on federal food assistance don't have to worry about losing their benefits, at least through the month of October. There will okay. not be any impacts to WIC families, the WIC approved grocery stores, <laughs> or our clinic or state staff. But if the shutdown continues into November, there is a possibility benefits would continue, but at a reduced amount. And if that's the case, more people would turn to food banks for help when many of them are already overwhelmed. We are not receiving as many donations to keep up with the growing need. Um, and that coupled with the fact that we are seeing about a 22% increase in need um, at this time is just making it a little bit challenging. But still, Chavez says they are prepared. After all, they do have experience. The nonprofit stepped up to feed dozens of federal employees during the shutdown in December of 2018. We did work last time with federal um, court employees. We worked at the airport. We worked with the federal prison. Um, and I believe there was also an education component. And they are prepared to step up and serve the community once again. That's, of course, unless Congress can reach a deal, a budget deal, by midnight Saturday. The food bank is always happy to accept donations. They will be looking for more volunteers if they see an increased need to respond to those federal employees. Back to you. Thank you.